Now this is another query, another query using aggregated functions. And again, it comes from the old higher course. And this time, we're going to follow the same path. We want to find the average number of clones that were sold. So we've got each item, and I want to find you know the average number. So again, you go to create, and we're in a query wizard, simple query wizard, and we'll have item, and we'll have quantity sold. Next. Same as before, next, we want to modify the design and give it a reasonable heading, um, be average sales, average sales, and again, we're going to finish. Now, as before, this screen should be getting quite familiar to you, to be able to remember where things are and, and the process we go through. To get to your extended like sum menu, we click on our totals button. Again, it adds our other area for group by. Now, there's lots of functions here, lots. Um, you won't use most of them. Certainly, some average and min max and count could all be used. I wouldn't suggest or even think that the rest of them would be expected to be used at higher. It's not anything that's, to my knowledge, part of the course. So, again, if you group by, um, you want AVG for average, and then we run. And we see that it's looking okay, except we've got loads of decimals, and well, it's not really what we're looking for. We've got to simplify this and make it more easy to read and more easy to actually take on board. So go to design view, go to design view, and you've got to bring up your properties menu. Now it might pop up right away, um, depending on the version you're working on. It might not. You can right click and then go to properties, and it brings up this menu at your right hand side. Now depending on which version of Axis you have, you might have a different setup here, different uh, layout. First of all we've got to look at our format and you need it as fixed as a standard number. You don't want any decimal places. Now they're all accessed through the drop down menus. And again we just rerun our query and we see it has got rid of the decimals it's given us an average number sold and everything is quite clear and quite easy to interpret which is a whole point in a query it simplifies your data so again your e button to give you your totals our averages and then this time we accessed our property sheet more to follow on queries i'm trying to use more of these functions thank you